Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we welcome back Paul Arthur, who is the Vice President for ANZ for OutSystems. So welcome back to the Jam, Paul. Thanks very much for having me. No worries. So to start off, for those who aren't aware, could you briefly explain OutSystems' key products and offerings? Uh, OutSystems is, uh, provides a rapid application development platform for organizations to design, build, and run uh, applications and services, both internally and externally to the organizations. Uh, using a very fast uh, visual development and AI assisted development uh, process, which means that they can get their uh, services to market faster uh, and obviously more efficiently than using traditional hand coding methods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and obviously in the last kind of 18 months, there has been an acceleration of digital transformation all over the world um, for pretty much everyone. So um, how are you dealing with that? How is OutSystems adapting to this and how um, is it adapting to rising customer expectations as well? It's really interesting because you know, over the last 18 months with the pandemic, what's actually happened is the market has come to OutSystems. Um, we've been talking about the requirement to deliver digital transformation faster and more efficiently uh, and with a better focus on customer journey for a long time now. Um, and those processes, although organizations have been stepping uh, forward with, with that way, it's been more of a gradual progression. Now, obviously with the pandemic that forced people to look at things a bit faster. So it's actually forced people to look at out systems as a platform to help them meet their objectives more rapidly. What we've seen is organizations now moving to almost like, um, I, I, I talk about this concept of almost like a safety off culture at the start of the pandemic, where in the past they were, you know, lots of checks and balances in place about whether they rolled something out or whether they went forward with it. And then it got to a point where we couldn't, we just have to do things quickly because it's, it's this or nothing. Uh, and then they started to move to a point where they started to adapt to do this much faster agile cadence of deploying applications. The challenge with that is the resources are to actually do that have become less and less available. You know, Australia now is at a peak crisis of, of technical uh, skill shortage. And although there are ways and means of delivering these processes, if you have the right skill set, not everybody has access to those resources. So they're now having to look at alternative methods of building applications. And that really plays into the, the concept of rapid application development or low code platforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And if we put um, a microscope on our system in particular, how does your company help IT teams speed up application development processes? I think the key thing is is the not to look at the way that what our systems do as actually you know meaning you need to get rid of developers. Uh, the idea of our systems as an application development platform is to take away some of the more traditionally slow, boring, mundane tasks that your high paid, highly skilled developers are having to do as part of their role and get to a point where maybe the original, the original build or the templates that are built in the systems can get you 80% of the way there and then have the people with the real business knowledge and the real skill sets embedded in your own organization to take that to the next level to provide you with competitive advantage. So using the application, rapid application development framework and the platform and the AI assist that's built into that platform, you can get to a point much faster. Now that also means you don't need as many resources to at that level that you could actually use at the at front end level, designing the customer journey and the customer experience, which is actually the point where the rubber hits the road in terms of providing value to a business. Right, yeah. Um, and a lot of companies are struggling with their legacy systems in the age of digital transformation. So how does your solution bridge the gaps with these legacy systems? Our systems right now is very active in, the con in, in promoting the challenge of dealing with technical debt. You know, technical debt is as debilitating to many organizations as financial debt to, to, to some degree. Uh, and many organizations through no fault of their part, their own have built up a huge legacy of applications of infrastructure stacks that were the right thing to do at the time, but weren't built with the future in mind. Without systems, what we say is, it's a big challenge to take those legacy sacks and replace them all in one go. It's a lot of organizations don't have the appetite or the budget or the time to actually do that. What our systems, what we say is integrate with those, uh, like with those legacy systems, layer out systems across, become that nice level playing field. You can then build the experiences and the applications that you want your business and your employees to use 
while integrating with the app with the back office legacy system and then over time when it becomes appropriate you make the changes that you need to make in those legacy systems in the back end knowing that you have an application development platform that can provide a 21st century interface to your customers and to your employees right yeah brilliant um and Finally, for you, Paul, how can viewers get in touch with OutSystems if they uh, feel the need to? Uh, obviously, we have our website at www.outsystems.com. But if anyone wants to contact me directly at paul.arthur.outsystems.com, more than happy to in, uh, engage in a conversation about how OutSystems can help organizations deliver on their backlog faster and create value for their business from the use of technology. Awesome. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, well, that's it for today's interview. Thanks, Paul, for taking the time today. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.